welcome back tennis fans here we are for another quick news video and this is previewing the final that we now know is between rafael nadal and it is taylor fritz as well both had incredible performances taylor fritz going through in straight sets against andre rublev in his semi-final and obviously the big one Rafa Nadal going through in three sets in crazy conditions against Carlos Alcaraz in the other semi-final. The battle of the old versus the new. As you can see here, 20 and 0, the unbeaten streak continues for Rafa Nadal as he defeats Carlos Alcaraz. Pretty incredible matchup it was indeed. As you can see here, Chris Goldsmith saying. Uh, he defeats his young compatriot, Carlos Alcaraz, 6-4, 4-6, 6-3 six, to reach the Indian Wells final yet again. And he is a three-time champion at Indian Wells. And the last time he did actually get to the semifinals in 2019, he had to withdraw against Roger Federer due to a knee injury. So who knows if he could have gone all the way that year as well and obviously this result means he does go above Sasha Zverev into third in the ATP rankings as well so massive for Rafael Nadal this result obviously his opponent in the final will be Taylor Fritz and there he is and he'd secured a 7-5-6-4 victory over Andre Rublev Andre Rublev wasn't really at the races. I mean, it was a little bit hit and miss, but so it was with Taylor Fritz as well. But he just about managed to get it over the line in that final set. Looked like he was having some sort of cramp issue in that last game, but Rublev sort of handed it to him. And I know what you're all probably wondering is, have these two ever played each other before? And yes, they have. They, If you remember, it wasn't too long ago, they actually played each other in the final in Acapulco. And uh, it was Rafael Nadal, the victor, uh, back in March 2020. So two years ago, and it was a quite a comfortable victory, 6-3, 6-2 in that one. But Taylor Fritz has come on leaps and bounds since then, as alluded to by this tweet which shows, as you can see here, some of Taylor Fritz's recent results since October. Indian Wells semi-final, St. Petersburg final, Paris Masters quarter-final, ATP Cup 2-1, to one, uh, defeated Norrie and Felix Oja ali uh, Australian Open round of 16, and now the Indian Wells final. And as you can see there, uh, 25 wins, 8 losses, 76% rank of number 39 going all the way up to now 16 or more and 4-3 uh, win to loss record against top 10, 5-0 and oh against 11 to 20 ranked opponents. So pretty formidable he's been over the past few months. And I think it's credit to Taylor Fritz. He's obviously got a good team around him. We know the Wolf works with him. Very, very exciting 2022 to come for Taylor Fritz, that's for sure. This is the route that each of them have had to take to make it through to the final. As you can see here, Rafael Nadal, Sebastian Korda in three, Dan Evans in two, Opelka in two, Kyrgios in three, and then the epic one there in about three hours, 12 minutes against Carlos Alcaraz in the blustery, windy conditions in the semi-final. Taylor Fritz, on the other hand, had Majlazak, Munar, Dimonor, Kigmanovic, and uh, Andre Rublev. And it's quite crazy. He's only uh, had straight sets twice there, and Andre Rublev being one of them. It's quite interesting to see the form that they have in finals as well. So I'm sure you'd like to know how many finals he's been to already. As you can see, Taylor Fritz, he has already been to six finals. And he has only won one out of six so far. And uh, he's only got to a, a, the biggest uh, 500 where he did lose, obviously, in Acapulco to Rafael Nadal. Uh, the only win being against Sam Querrey on grass. So not the best record in finals. And obviously, we can go 
over to Rafa Nadal's record is uh, slightly more comprehensive. And as you can see here in tournament of finals there, he has won 91 in singles, lost 37, uh, a 71% winning uh, ratio there. Pretty formidable. It's going to be scary. Let us know what you think in the comments section. Do you think that this is going to be similar to their last meeting? Or do you think Taylor Fritz is going to have the crowd on his side and really going for him? This was just a quick news clip to preview that final. Make sure to join us on Game to Love for it because it's coming up very soon. If you haven't already, hit a like on this video. Subscribe to Game to Love if you are new and we will see you for the final very, very soon.